Hey guys, this is a short video. This is Jay Creator. Just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about San Francisco Airport. San Francisco Airport. So every day, I get two or three people that uh, I take to the airport. It's a good run. Usually I can make 20 to up to $50, depending on what kind of surge or prime time bonus is going on. Now, the other part of that is that you can wait, wait at the airport, and pick somebody up at the airport, you know, someone who's arrived, and then take them to whatever destination they're going to. I do not do that. Here's why I don't do that. One, the wait is very long, okay? It's generally half an hour or more, and that's, that's a long time. In 15 minutes, I can be back in the city uh, getting my next fare, right? Where I'm gonna have some prime time bonuses going, some surge bonuses going. The other thing that's very unpredictable, um, what I did the other day, it was the first time it happened, uh, the wait was very short. So I dropped somebody off, I drove about five minutes, I was on the freeway and I got pinged to pick somebody up at the international terminal. So I turned around, I went back, and this is the first time this has happened, and uh, picked up this guy, and we ended up going to Foster City. So that's about 15 minutes in the wrong direction. The chances of me of getting somebody in Foster City who wants to go back to San Francisco is pretty low. So it's just a lot of dead time. It took me a whole half an hour to get back into San Francisco after I dropped this guy off. Whereas if I didn't pick him up, I would have been in San Francisco doing A to B, B to C, you know, uh, having somebody in my car the whole time. So uh, that's the reason I don't um, hang out at the airport. A lot of people do, and maybe they get some big long fares uh, that I'm not aware of. But uh, the only thing I'm interested in is working in San Francisco where I don't have any downtime, where I can pick someone up at point A, take them to point B. A minute later, I'm picking up somebody at point B and taking them to point C. Then from point C to point D. Um, that way, I always have somebody in my car, and I'm going to maximize the amount of money I can make. All right? So that's my take on, on the San Francisco airport situation. And do I wait around to pick somebody up at the airport or just head back to the city and uh, get back to work? All right. If you're thinking about signing up, maybe you're an Uber driver and you haven't signed up for Lyft yet or vice versa, or you haven't signed up for either one of them, uh, click on my link. I'm here to support you. Um, you can uh, email me. Uh, we can talk if you have any questions. Um, I'm really here to help people get their first 100 rides under, under their belt so that they can earn a, a substantial uh, signing bonus uh, that both Lyft and Uber are offering right now. All right, guys. Jay Creator, check it off. Bye-bye.